Hello YouTube, Chrome Freak here. KW Gunworks, Southern Yankee Guns, Chrome Freak 123, AmmunitionDepot.com. Anyway, guys, this is the USFA zip gun. Pull it back. We're clear, no magazine in. They don't even have ammo here. Alright, guys, this is not going to be a review of this gun. This is going to be a disassembly video. Then the second part, I will do a reassembly video detailed on both. However, I am not going to do a review on this. I know I'm doing that kind of backwards, but I had somebody ask me to do it. So I agreed. I'll go ahead and do this. I was still in the process. This is actually a customer's gun. It's not my gun. I do not own one. We have sold a few from the shop. This is the only one that has come back so far. I don't know if that means the other ones are working good or if they've not shot them yet or what the deal is. I know there's been issues with this gun. Maybe it was rushed out a little too quickly. I don't know. I do know as a, as a gunsmith armor, one of the problems I see with this firearm is no extractor. Which in a blowback design, I can actually kind of see it working with good ammo, but I think they should have fluted the inside of the chamber, kind of like a Setme battle rifle, a G3, Setme G3, same gun. They have a fluted chamber, and they do that to aid in extraction. And I'm thinking maybe they should have done that on this, and maybe that's a fix for it. I don't know. I'm not an engineer. I do work on guns, but I'm not an engineer. Maybe that's something the people at Zip could look at, and they probably already are. All right. I like this gun. Now, I will cover one other issue with this real quickly. There's my cat. Go. She's an old, old cat. Anyway, real, real quickly that other people are kind of complaining about saying it's inherently dangerous because of how close the charging handle is to the front, to the muzzle. I don't see it. I... I don't ever put my finger on the trigger of a gun, first off, unless I'm ready to shoot it. Number one, please, my cat. Secondly, you actually have to, you have a charging handle on this, and then you have a second strike capability handle on this. But it can also be used as a charging handle. It's got a little line on it. You bring it back to that line right there, and if you did, if you did, when you pull the trigger, it didn't go off on that rim fire 22 is known to happen. You can go to the second strike cap capability and then try it again. However, if you take this and push it all the way in, it will go far back enough to clear the magazine and reload another round. So, you could swap these. If you're a lefty, you might want to leave the shorter one where it's at. If you're a righty, you can actually swap these over and use this as a charging handle. Just push it all the way in. It goes all the way in. And it'll work that way fine. And it buys you another half inch of real estate. But to be honest, to clear a jam or whatever, I drop the magazine out of the gun. And I do what I got to do. I mean, this is not a self-defense gun. It's not a battlefield gun. It's a 22 long rifle. That's a fun gun. It's it's a new gun. It's it's innovative. I think the design is really neat, especially on disassembly and reassembly. It's really cool setup. And I'm really cheering for this gun to work. And I'm hoping they come up with a uh, with something to fix it. I think fluting the entire side of the chamber and sending everybody new barrels could do that, or have you send your barrel back to them, let them flute it, and send it back to you. I think that could, that could actually help make the gun work better. I have just put the new spring kit that was sent with this firearm in it, and I'm going to take it back to the range and shoot it some more for the customer and see if that doesn't help any. But I will say the more rounds I've gotten through the gun, using 10-round Ruger mags, by the way, 1022 mags, not the BM25s, I'm not using them. It's worked better every magazine. The more rounds I get through it, the better it's working. So I went to the, to the other springs, and let's see how that does. And I'll try it that way. If I need to switch back, I'll switch back. But it seems that the more rounds you get through that chamber, maybe it's starting to break itself in a little bit better. And it is working better, however, not flawless. I've only gotten a few magazines through it without any issues. I will say that. However, let's kind of keep the comments on this video to what it is. If we can, please, it's a disassembly video. We will do a review later on this gun. Okay. On board, on the very top of this, has a slide cover plate right here. Under that, it comes with an Allen wrench, and built into the plastic is a barrel nut to take, or I'm sorry, a wrench to take your barrel nut off, which is the black cover of the barrel right here. You pop the back up by reaching under the sight, popping it up, and then pull it straight off. But my fingers, man, I, I need help, at least with that. It's the only place that I need a tool besides the ones that are given with the gun is I use Recon 1 just to get it started and go ahead and slide it off. And with that, there, there went the um, Allen wrench right there. It actually fits in like so. And then right here, this round part right here is your barrel. 
nut wrench. So now I can't get it back out. <laughs> okay. Hey, yeah, yeah. One thing it's another. Okay, I take the cover, I put it off to the side. Okay. Now what I want to do, now if you read the book, it comes with pretty thorough detail or um, details. Thorough instructions on taking this gun apart, even detailed disassembly and reassembly, and they do a pretty good job of it. However, taking this down a few times now for the customer, I've kind of learned my own little sequence, and I think it's a little bit better than the one that they actually have you do. But it really comes down to the, to the same end means anyway, so. But what I do is I go ahead and I take this top screw out first. The top right screw, and I'm going to remove that back plate, and I'll show you in a second. Let's get this out. And I could, yes, I could do this video quicker by using a driver, nut driver, instead of this Allen wrench. But it's what comes with the gun. It's what you're more than likely going to be using. And I'm doing it here at the kitchen table instead of at work at the workbench. Because I kind of like doing those type of videos. It's the ones I've always done, although I should be doing a lot more work videos. And hopefully soon I'll start doing it. I've just been so busy. Um, I go ahead and I pull that right off and get it out of the way. And the reason I do that is I want to take the operating um, carrier in there. I want to bring everything forward. So I'll bring it back till you actually feel tension. Go ahead and pull the trigger and let it forward. You see it comes all the way, slides all the way forward. When you do that, you'll be able to use the Allen wrench by reaching in and underneath and pushing up, in and up on this spring and guide rod. And you got a little plastic retaining piece here. This is under spring tension. In the book, they show you doing it from the top here. I find it easier going underneath. You just gotta be careful, hold your finger there so you don't lose that plastic piece. What I do is I just push it in and up a little bit like that. And then once it's up a little bit, you can go ahead and let it out. And there I go. And there's the piece right there. Be careful you don't lose it. The rod, the spring, we'll put all that back together and leave this with it anyway. That all goes together. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Put that over there. Okay. Next, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to pull the charging handle back. And what I do there is I stick my finger into the, the guard and I kind of hold them there to get the um, nuts to the back of the gun. You do not need to do this. You don't have to do this. I do it because that's what I want to do, but you, you do not have to do that. This round wrench is long enough to reach in with it all the way forward, but I just find it easier to do it this way. That's all. Hopefully I wasn't off camera there. As you can see, everything's to the back. There's two nuts on either side, two bolts on either side that we're going to be taking out of here, screws, whatever you want to call them. We'll take out. Driver would definitely be easier. I've been watching a lot of videos on this gun, guys. I'm really pulling for this gun to work. I mean, it's, it's American-made. It's really neat. It's a new design. And just look at it this way. It's more of a fun gun. There's one of the screws. This one's still not all the way out yet. What do you know? I'm having problems with this. It's out. I know it's out. It's just hung up. Okay, I'll leave it in there for now, guys. When I when I knock these out anyway, it's it's going to come loose. But what you do is the next piece that's going to come out is I go ahead and I take the operating handle out. To do that, you pull it out the back. You have to twist it 90 degrees and pull it right out. Sit it off to the side. Now these are going to come out. What you do is you let it back and let it roll. Like that. See that? And there went the screw. I knew it was loose. There's your first one, charging handle, and your second. Pull it back, let it go hard. And like that, it'll come out. Now these are the springs when they send you a spring kit that you will be replacing. And I put these in uh, a couple days ago. These are the lighter springs. I just haven't had a chance to get to the range and try them out yet. They're not the heavier ones. I keep hearing guys say they're heavier. They're not, they're actually lighter. The ones that came in the gun are the heavier springs. Now maybe if they send you a replacement kit, they're giving you the heavier ones first. I could be wrong on that, I don't know. This is the only one I have to go by. Um, I'll go ahead and use the wrench if you want. What I did was I go, oh, I'm sorry. You go ahead and take your carrier out if you want. It fell out the back when I turned it over, but that would have been the next piece to come out. It fits in there like that. Just dump it out and grab it. Sorry about that. 
but you also want to get your barrel off. You got the barrel nut right here that's built into the top cover. I had it loose, just snug. I could actually take my hand and take it off. And there's a trick when you're reassembling this, by the way. And that's all this is, is a cover. It's just a, uh, a nut. It acts as the barrel nut itself. Now what I want to do is you're going to, at this point, you're going to take the barrel and you're going to push everything toward the back. And um, you'll fight it a little bit. But what, it's kind of hard to explain. There's a plate on there, on the barrel. I want to get that plate off of the barrel to be able to get the barrel out first, then the plate and your guide, well, then the guide rod, then the plate. So if you play with your fingers, reach in through the port, you can walk it off like that. I was reached through the ejection port, then through the magazine until I got it off. Now, you'll see what I'm saying. I will pull the barrel, probably take a pencil like this. Just push it till you can grab it. There it is. Almost. Just kind of using this as a pry because I couldn't get my fingers in there. But there's your barrel, guys. Um, it's threaded right here to accept the barrel nut on it. And it comes together. And when during reassembly, I'll show you. There's a pretty neat trick on getting that. Now what I got to do is you got to get this plate and the guide rod out. Another guide rod. What I do is I actually like to bring this top, this guide rod out the top. I pull that plate as far back as I can to bring this guide rod. Let it kind of slide right out the front like that. It's out, then I'll just dump the plate out. Okay, now we're starting to acquire a bunch of pieces over here, but believe me, it's a very easy gun to disassemble and reassemble. It really is once you've done it. The next thing that we're going to go ahead and we're going to take out, I want to play around here, is I'm going to go ahead and take out the magazine catch. It's going to be this bottom back screw toward the back of the gun. We'll take that out first. There's going to be three different length screws here, guys. As you can see, see, we got two shorter ones and one longer one. Okay? That longer one actually went into the frame itself. The two shorter ones is what puts your charging handles to your bolt carrier, or your carrier in this case. It's not a bolt carrier. More than it is just a carrier. This is strike fire. But anyway, I digress. We'll take this out. Lay that there, and this, this is going to be the same length as the longer one. It doesn't matter. I mean, there's only three size screws, and when we put it back together, I'll show you. Now, what you're going to do is there is a spring in there. It really, the gun itself will keep it from flying, but make sure you're at a table where it's not going to just fall, and you're going to be on your hands and knees looking for a spring. But you're going to pull, push it in and pull it out, just like that. When you do, this piece will come out, and there's a spring, and there's the spring right there. The spring actually fits in there, and then in the gun, this is how kind of how it works like that but set that off to the side for now those three pieces okay now there's one two three four there's five screws left to take out to take the gun apart completely separate the hats what i like to do is go ahead and lock the safety you want to lock that safety down because you got a spring and a detent in there when you try to take the side plate off if that's if the um safety is off on fire and you take that apart, it's, you're going to have your, you're going to fight, you're going to be fighting it to get the two halves apart. And when you do, you're probably going to lose a spring and a detent that's in there also. So let's go ahead and get these five screws out. And this is why I want to make two separate videos because I want to be able to take my time and I hope the lighting is better than normal. I do have an extra light shining on us right now. I'm not sure if it's helping any or not, but now I got my cat, my 20 year old cat laying right there. <laughs> but I love doing these videos guys this is kind of like my old school type of video sitting here at the you know what let's go ahead and do the, the two shorter ones There's th these two are the shortest screws in the gun right here I'll get them both started and I'll take them out quickly and I'll leave one screw the upper top one right here to take out and that will separate both halves and you'll see how just how simple and easy this gun is. And I'll be able to show you that stairway system if you read the book on how they built it. It's really an innovative, great design. Now, this gun is, like I said, having a lot of issues, as we all know. But I really think it's little issues that can be overcome, you know, little design flaws that maybe they should have done some more R&D research and, and development on. But um, 
it's a great design it really is and I'm actually cheering for it to work it's a little fun gun to shoot when it's all working and hopefully they'll get things straightened out okay guys now we got it apart the only thing we're gonna really need to worry about is this um, safety right here I have it down it's on safe right now we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna separate it you can see there's nothing in the side of the gun this is it just a cover plate and everything's cut out it's really neat design I mean look at this man it really is we'll set that off to the side right now and the next piece I'm gonna take out is I'm gonna take that safety out you're gonna pull that safety out there's a little plastic let me see if I can find something to point with <laughs> the end of the pencil broke uh, there's this plastic piece laying in there inside of that plastic piece right there is a detent and a spring so what we got to kind of do is you're going to kind of lift the bottom of the trigger itself and the safety at the same time but keeping your fingers there so you don't lose nothing and there went the detent and the spring i'll pull it out i want to kind of leave the trigger there put that back in because i want to show you how that comes out okay we'll lay that back in now here's the little holder for your safety here's your safety here's the little detent and the spring right there and they all go together and on reassembly I will show you that once again it's very simple now here's the trigger all you gotta do is just pick it up just pull it right out when you put it back in I'll show you you'll have to work it in with with the safety at the, kind of the same time but it just lays right in there like this then you got your disconnect and there's really no need to take that out of the gun in fact to take it out of the gun you'd have to drive it out and then the right side of the frame you'll see a little split opening right here where you could actually drive that out I don't see no need to do that. If you wanted to polish it up or something like a Glock, you could absolutely do that. That would be to do it, but that would probably void your warranty. I'm not going to tell you to do that. I'm not going to do it on this gun. This is as far as down as we're going to go. You could take the um, trigger group apart here. There's not a lot to it. Uh, in fact, you got to be kind of careful when you're playing with it like this. These uh, pins are just in there and they're only held by spring pressure. And you got two separate springs in here. And you got your sear and all that here's the little stairway they talk about um when it climbs this little stairway it's located right there and this will come up and there went the little pin right there and there's what i'm talking about put that back in before i lose it come on uh, you see how easy that that pin came out but that springs and it'll walk up them stairs, literally, step, 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 and there's your, your passage for your um, striker. All right, guys, with that, this is actually your firing pin right here. This is the part on your operating rod that would hit, hit the, the 22 round, your rim fire round, is right here. And well, you can see how everything works together. It's a really neat, innovative design that I really like a lot, I really do, I just wished Back here on the chamber of this firearm, if you were to look inside, there's no, um, there's no fluting in there. And I believe that they fluted in here at the very top of the shell, where the shell ends, your head spacing kind of, and put some flutes in there to aid in extraction. When that gas is coming back and it gets into those flutes and it really pushes that, that spent case out of the way. You have a magazine here and your carrier's back, it kind of acts as... An ejector there's really no ejector in here either um, but it works it all works it just I I personally believe and I could be wrong like I said I'm not an engineer but I really believe by fluting the inside of the chamber it would fix a lot of the problems this guns having that's all I'm gonna get into on it it's a really innovative neat design and even if this one right here never succeeds I hope it does I really don't pulling for these people but let's say I don't. Somebody could pick up on this design and do something like the fluting on here. Or the way this gun is designed, it fits together and comes apart. It's just really innovative and great. And I, and I like it. I do. And I'm pulling for it to work. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and end this one here. We'll pick it back up in part two with a reassembly. Complete detailed reassembly. You can see all the parts laid out here. There's not a lot to it. It's a, that's what I love. It's a nice, simple, easy design that anybody anybody um, could take apart and put back together pretty easily. All right, guys, we'll go ahead and wrap it up. KW Gunworks, Southern Yankee Guns, Chrome Freak 123 Ammunition Depot. See ya.